Hey Metal Maniacs, this is Daniel Wilkins of Six Strange Slaughter from Denmark and you're cranking it up on Metal Meltdown on Metal Messiah Radio with Dave Softy. Stay heavy! Metal Maniacs, here we go. Please help me welcome back to Metal Messiah Radio. Hailing from Denmark, from outstanding killer death metal band Six String Slaughter. Joining us once again, we have the vocalist, Mr. Daniel Wilkins. How you doing out there tonight, Daniel? Great to have you back. It's been a while. Welcome back to the Metal Meltdown. 
thank you very much. It's nice to be back. Uh, it's been a long time, I can tell. No, it, it has been a while, yeah. And I, I really thank you for this opportunity and uh, contacting me during my uh, – I think I was still working the the softy truck at the time, and you sent me an email about your new music, and I was really excited to be able to hear that uh, music. And I, I finally got to listen to it, and I'm like, absolutely. I've been playing the hell out of the music. Everyone loves this music. And uh, I just love the aggression. It, it's really – it motivates me. It inspires me. So I, I really appreciate you creating this music and, and taking the time to be here to talk about it. And uh, I, I'm the one who thank you for letting me talk in your show. That's what it's all about. We're here to support, yeah. you know? Yeah, I appreciate yeah, that. I know that. And My I appreciate every, every kind of support that you're giving us. And I appreciate that you're playing your music on your show. So a uh, very big thank you uh, from me to you. Oh, it's Definitely. our pleasure. My pleasure personally, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're living in crazy times, as as you know. Our last it seems like two yeah, years, yeah. and um, I heard the latest news today that there's another variant, and, and it's going to be really bad, uh, coming from South Africa. Oh, yeah. So who knows? Yeah. So who knows what the future is going to be? Uh, we have to have another booster shot and another booster shot probably to survive it. I, I don't know. But my biggest question right now is about you personally and, and as, as a band, how your experience has been dealing with this COVID pandemic as far as uh, getting your music ready to be out there and as well as uh, performing. How has COVID affected you? In Six Drink Slaughter, the COVID uh, don't have that much effect because we were writing the album since, yeah, well, 2015. Uh, so, and we had some, uh, the drummer, uh, Nicholas, had some personal family problems he had to take care of. Uh, I became a father in 2016, so the priorities has been a, a little different. For us, when we started writing the album again, it was in 1918 or 19. The COVID came in 20, and uh, we uh, we started the recording sessions in uh, San's own studio, our guitar player, and we didn't have any uh, concerts to to play at that time because we were working on the album. COVID had uh, not that kind of effect on the, on Sick Drink Slaughter. But I play in another band called uh, Hulk. It stands uh, for Hatred of All Kind. And uh, we had uh, our shows cancelled. We made an EP in 20 and uh, had some, some shows booked, and uh, but they were all cancelled. Um, so that's that's a shitty <laughs> shitty situation to be in. But uh, Sigrid yeah. Slaughter did not have, uh, have the effect on... on uh, we, we we might have it in the future. We don't know. Uh, we don't have uh, that much uh, shows to play uh, because of uh, of uh, COVID. Because the bookers say ah, they are they really don't know if they should book a concert or not. And some are doing it. And there's a lot of bands other than us that that uh, wants to play those few concerts that will be arranged. You know so. So it, it's it's uh, it's like everybody is fighting for 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 the opportunity to 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 get uh, uh, come out and play. Exactly. But we have uh, we have uh, we have played a small uh, metal festival in, in Denmark, and we are playing in April again. So um, we have uh, small shows coming on, but uh, but uh, yeah, all in all, we can say that COVID did not have that much effect on Sigmund Slaughter. I understand. Well, it affected your other band, but I want to congratulate you on being a father. That I was not aware of. Congratulations on that. Oh, thank you. Just went five years old, so uh, you know, <laughs> small. Five years. Like, yes, yeah, it's, it's been a while. Yeah. Like, like you said, our first interview was back in 2014 for the yeah, debut was, offering. Yeah. yeah, born unspoiled, and uh, so you were ready to do the next album, but then life happens, and you put it on yeah. hold it's it's a very very common situation and uh, but the band has changed a bit i remember I, if i remember correctly the band was a three piece i believe it's yeah, a four it was, piece now yeah yeah it, it, it's uh, we had the two uh, a session guitar and a session bass player 
uh, and the session guitar was Kirk Bagarak, and uh, he joined the band for for good because um, uh, we want him to be on the next album in the writing process as well. He did not just make a few things for this album, uh, but uh, he's a very skillful guy and a very good friend, and he fits perfectly uh, musically and personally and. So, so it was naturally for us to uh, to put him in the band. Uh, he's playing in other bands as well, but but uh, he's uh, he's a good guy, skillful, and have uh, good ideas. So uh, for the next album, he will be uh, in the writing process as well, and that's why we uh, actually uh, put him in the band. That's that's great news. And who is the current drummer? Uh, that's uh, still Nicholas Milchin. Oh, who has, okay. That's always uh, drum. But but uh, but he had to take uh, a year, uh, a year and a half, I think it was, out of the calendar just to to take care of his family. That was uh, some personal issues he has to take care of. But everything is all right now. So so uh, uh, he's he's uh, good, and the family is good again. So so there's no problem there anymore. This is great news, and uh, I have to tell you, we're loving as the continents collide. I've played every single tune on it. I, I play a lot of double shots because I want to get the word out there and the people in yeah. chat are enjoying the music as much as I am playing it and I'm really happy that you told me about this music and I, I know that it's been a while but you know the music is outstanding I mean I come from a I used to like power metal, and then I got like I need, needed more aggression. I got into thrash. I still love thrash. I love death thrash, and I've, I've never been a, a huge death or black metal fan. But I'm telling you, as the years go by, I, I get a desire for more aggressive and more extreme metal, and this just hit me so well. I just love the sound of this death metal offering. Yeah, you can you can say that that uh, that um, as the continents collide is uh, more thrashy than uh, than. Uh born on spoil it's more uh, we have put more thrash metal into the music so we we play a kind of dead thrash i would say i love uh, that it, it, it yeah it it's it, it, i like thrash as well i grew up with thrash and thrash is uh, maybe my uh, favorite uh, genre right uh, as, as, uh, along with death metal of course so so uh it was naturally for us to to make uh, a mixture of it uh, so yeah, say, yeah, I'm loving the death thrash that's been coming out the last year or two. It just it just yeah. gets me. It, it's like how I'm feeling, and it's like I got the music to amplify how I'm feeling, and it just makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the same with me. Uh, and 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 now we 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 had this uh, oceans of time. We we didn't have a deadline to say, uh, oh, the the record has to be out here and there. We we just took the time that it took, and and then. We had a lot of talking about what we wanted to do and those things we could make better from from uh, the Bone On Spoil uh, record. And yeah, you know, uh, we had the time to work it through. So so it was not a rush. It was not anything. So so we had the the time, and that's why I think that the the Continent Collide album is it's much better. I'm loving it. And let, let's inform the listeners on the the creation of as the Continent collide can we tell them what studio this was recorded in and who is responsible for the mastering the mixing and the production of this yeah our guitar player son jensen has made it all uh, we have our own studio and he has uh, we have recorded it there we have written it there uh, it's called six string studios because it's our own studio <laughs> excellent that's uh, great that's really great to have that yeah awesome and and, and uh, we Cern uh, has the mix and master it himself. Last time we uh, recorded everything in Sick Dream Studios and mixed it, and we had uh, our head studio in Poland where Behemoth and, and uh, those bands are working to, to master it. But uh, this time we have done everything ourselves. Again, because we had the time to do it. Well, yeah, the only thing we didn't do ourselves was the cover. That is from Mario Lopez. Mario Lopez, uh, his name comes up a lot. He does great work. Yeah, he makes excellent work. And we just sent him the title, and he came up with the with the this drawing of the the earth and of emblem in and yeah, well, 
everyone can you can go uh, to see the cover themselves and well yeah that's what he gets out of the title uh, as the continent collide I'm showing it in chat right now so everyone can see it. I always uh, like to show that. And, yeah, you see the six-string slower logo embedded into the – it looks like to me like the moon, but it's the earth. But that that is a great image. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's because of uh, Mario Lopez. He's very, very skillful. And I recommend <laughs> people to use him because he's just amazing. He does amazing. a great job. He really is excellent, and I'm I'm curious to know: was this self released, or are you still dealing with horror, pain, gore, death production space in the USA? Uh, we have uh, released it ourselves. Uh, our deal with horror, pain, gore, death was on this Born on Spoiled album. We were sati- very satisfied with with their work. He connected me to you. <laughs> so so that's why we are talking here it's because the first album was released on this label in the US yeah I remember uh, that but, yeah yeah but, but, but we, we decided to do uh, do it ourselves this time uh, we had uh, some offering from labels but uh, we said no we, we want to do it ourselves to be your own boss so to say right and and, and, and also because we know uh, we, we, we play death metal we're not getting millionaires of of music, uh, for us it's it's uh, a great hobby, and 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 that's the way it it is. We are all family fathers. We have uh, other priorities, and so on. so it's it's easier for us to to do it ourselves, and so we have control with everything that works in the band, so to say. Yeah, this is how it is in the underground, and even above the underground, uh, yeah, yeah. It, the money isn't there. It, it, it's it's a passion that you have. And yeah. it really, it really comes through this time, even more so than the first time. It, what again? It it really comes through your passion for the music and your recording and, and the sound of your band. It really comes through this time. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. And, and and that's because we had, as I told you before, that the time to 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 uh, to think about what we wanted. Uh, how did we want it to to sound? So so, time has been. Uh, a good factor for us to, to make a record that it's uh, better than the first one. And you've proven that you don't always have to be signed to get this music out there. You do it yourself, and uh, you've had the ability to do it, and uh, congratulations on, on getting this all done the way you wanted it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we appreciate that people like it, because uh, all the reviews we have got have been uh, like uh, 9 out of 10 <laughs> or the baddest uh, review we got from this album was 7 out of 10. So, that's pretty good. People who have heard it and, and, and the stuff, they like it. They, they love it. And, and, and that's, that's, uh, that make us happy, of course, and proud of our work. And, uh, it uh, makes us uh, believe in ourselves. And uh, that unbelief that we are going the right way. That's great. And you know, we're talking about COVID and how it, it really hasn't affected Six String Slaughter, but, are there any shows that you've had from the past that you'd like to talk about, your, your past performances? Or is there anything coming up? Do you have any shows coming up that we could spread the word on? Oh, we, 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 we had a show with Decapitated from Poland in Denmark. That, that's the only show uh, until now. Six Ring Slaughter is not playing many concerts. It's, it's never been what we wanted to make a lot of concerts, a lot of tours. Because it's it's a lot of money you have to to spend uh, making those tours and stuff like that. Right, and that's that sometimes what yeah that that sometimes is when a label comes in handy when they can give you tour support and it doesn't come out of your pocket. That's when that happens. It doesn't happen all the time, but when that happens, it's helpful to be on a label that does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is, but but then we have to spend the time, you know away from our families and uh, it's a lot of work to, to do chores and uh, there's in many cases very little money in it right so right. we all have our daily work and uh, we make money and uh, support our families in that way the music yeah well it's a passion we can't escape right well we appreciate it we do appreciate yeah, that you do yeah. this. Yeah, absolutely. But, but I do want to inform the, the listeners on how they could support Six String Slaughter by getting merch. 
even though this is not, you know, you're not looking to make money or you're not doing it to make money. You're doing it as a passion, like you said. Still, yeah. we need to get the word out and we have to have the fans support you by getting the merch. So I want to give a couple of links that I think would probably be the best way to inform the fans. That would be your homepage and your band camp, sixstringslaughter.bandcamp.com and six, yeah. sixstringslaughter.com. And I noticed that I went to the site and I noticed that you have shirts, beanies, bear coasters. You have this CD available and the previous EP. And yeah. it's it's great that you have this. Oh, yeah. Uh, the pre EP is sold out at, at the moment. But I can tell you something that uh, we are making the... Um, as a continent collide album on vinyl, very soon. Mm. Uh, very nice. That's nice. People have been asking for it, so <laughs> we have uh, checked out the possibilities. And uh, yeah, well, the possibilities was there. The financial thing was there. Everything was there. People were asking for it, so now we are making it on vinyl. In the spring, maybe. Excellent. And how many copies do you? Everything's in the spring. Two hundred, I think it is. Two hundred. The first press. Will it be any special kind of vinyl, or will it be like traditional black, or do you have any idea? I I guess it will be a traditional black, and uh, maybe some of those uh, splatter vinyls. Nice. 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 We don't we we don't know uh, quite yet. If there were bleach splatter, but but, uh, but it depends on prices and stuff like that. Right, but it's yeah. nice to have the vinyl as an offering that that people collect that because of the beauty of the vinyl of the, of the the cover art being in a bigger format and all that. It's just a beautiful work of art. Yeah, it is. It is, and and uh, and uh, when people ask for it, we will of course try to to see what we can do to to make people happy. That's excellent. <laughs> And uh, let's talk about videos from Six String Slaughter. I noticed on YouTube, it's Six String Slaughter DK. I noticed a couple of videos, and it's just great to know they're out there. We have for the title track, As the Continents Collide, the official yeah. music video, and the official audio video, uh, a product of a weak design. Yeah, yeah. It's again, it's Sound have made them all. Uh, he is working, uh, you know, filming commercials and so making small commercial movies so so he know how to make videos and, and stuff like that. That so is very yeah. helpful. Yeah it is, it is. He's a he's a good man to have in the band with his own studio and uh, the skills that he has musically and uh, to make videos to, to yeah to have uh, mix, master, everything. So so we are doing everything ourselves. Well, it's, it's, it, to me, it sounds like it's a win-win situation for you. If you have someone from the band able to make videos, it costs you a lot less money to get those videos out there. Yeah, yeah, it, it saves us a lot of money, of course. We, we, do, we just have to use uh, all the time, uh, make it all together, you know. Uh, so so, so it's, it's, it's a lot of work, but, but uh, it, uh, it reduces the cost, so to say. Right, exactly. Are there any plans for future videos for As Cotton yeah, Collide? Have been, we have been, yeah, we have been talking about it. Uh, we don't know what song it will be, but uh, yeah, well, you'll see what the future will bring. But uh, I guess there will be a video when we release the vinyl. Okay, great. Well, please keep in touch with me when you do release the vinyl so we can help spread the word and mention it on the air as well and do whatever we can to help. As I promised you in, in 2014, I said I, I will con- contact you when we have a new album. And, I and you kept your, and you and you did keep your, you did keep your word. Yes, you did. Yeah, and I, of course, David, I will keep in touch when we make new stuff again. Definitely, I do, I do appreciate you're, that. You're a great supporter, and and we lo- love the support that that your radio show and and the uh, Metal Messiah Radio makes for Sixth and yeah. Slaughter. We very appreciate that. It's well deserved, and we appreciate doing it. It's what we do. Yeah, I know, I know. That's so. So that's the metal scene, you know. Everybody that's how it is. is happy about everyone. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I, I, I really te- like it. I really. Like we it. need the teamwork to make it happen. That's what it's all about. Yeah. The teamwork. Yes. And, 
And Daniel, what do you do to make a living? How do you how do you support your family? Uh, how do you make money out there? What do you actually do outside of the band? Oh, I I make uh, signs. You make I, signs. I, yeah. Uh, oh, that's I I work on a on a firm called the uh, Noble Signs, and we make uh, signs for food production and soap and stuff like that. Oh yeah, it, that's interesting. Oh, it's it's chemistry and it's uh, dry and boring. <laughs> oh, really? But but it pays your bills. And some, there's there's also a nerd thing about it. <laughs> it's funny, yeah. But it makes you it makes your living. So more oh, yeah, with that. Does, it does. And you were talking before, I believe you said that you're already writing for the next album. Is that what you said? We have some ideas, but we have not really uh, been writing anything yet. We're just talking about how to make a new album. Maybe because this has been a very long writing process with the, As the Continents Collide, we will take a little break and uh, start the writing, uh, I don't know when, maybe after the vinyl is out. So uh, we are just talking about uh, what we could do, what we shouldn't do, and yeah, you know, it's just talking at the moment, and uh, later there will be action behind the show. All right. Well, yeah, like you, you keep doing what you're doing, and you keep in touch with me, and we'll have you back on the show when the time is right. I don't, I don't think it's going to take six or seven years this time, but you never know what's going to happen, right? You never take know. It one day. We, 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 we didn't expect it to take that long, but uh, you, you can't uh, tell about the, what happens in the future. So uh, we never know. Maybe it's it will be maybe just two years or maybe three years. We don't know. We don't know. Don't know. We, we yeah. don't work with deadlines. We, we, right. we are working on it until we are satisfied with the result, and and that's the 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 best way to do it for us. Because if we have to rush an album out. It would not be that quality that we wanted. I respect that. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because as, as a small band as we are, it will be a disaster to make something in a hurry that don't sound the way that we wanted. You know, that will be a, a shame also for the for the audience for for the for the people who liked the, the the first album. So we will keep the quality high. That, that's our first priority to, to, to have this uh, quality that we like and that we can stand in for. This is very important, and I'm glad you're saying that because we could always expect the best from Six String Slaughter because that's what you want, and that's what we like yeah. to hear, and that's awesome. And, uh, and Daniel, I, I really appreciate you coming back on the show that we could talk about this great music. And uh, I just want to make sure that we covered everything. If, is there anything that we could bring out to the listeners and the fans of Six String Slaughter? Anything that we can mention to them that we have not touched upon? If there's anything that you would like to say that we have not said yet, please, I give you every opportunity to talk about anything you'd like to. Well, I, I don't really know. I think we have been talking about the... the well, we can, we can talk a little about the concept behind the album if you want that. That's a great idea. Yeah, uh, as the continents collide, uh, was actually the first thing I came up with uh, when I was writing the, the lyrics for the album. And uh, it is, uh, you remember, maybe in, in, in 2015, we have this uh, refugee crisis in Europe. A lot of people from the Middle East was coming to Europe, and, and uh, they still from Africa over the Mediterranean. They are sailing, they drown, they die, they, they do everything. And, and, and I got this idea that the continents was colliding. It's not mm. only tectonic plates that collide, but also people, also uh, religion, culture, everything collides. That's why we make uh, this uh, first song uh, as the title song. And later I, it, uh, it became real to me that, uh, that humans... <laughs> uh, like, were like colliding with themselves uh, in many ways. We we act stupid as human race. Uh, and right. I'm sorry to say that, uh, but it makes sense. It's true. Ourselves. We, we we are destroying ourselves. We are destroying each other. We are always. You can see now with this COVID, uh, people who don't like to be vaccinated uh, are hated by people who are vaccinated. And this is true. Very true. And we, Very true. We, uh, we, uh, we, 
we are divided uh, in, in, in so many ways. I, I don't care if people are, are vaccinated or not vaccinated. And, 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 and I don't hate people just because they didn't take uh, uh, injections or something they don't want to. That doesn't matter to me. Uh, for me, people are people and, uh, and, and uh, uh, that we have to think of other people that they are sick and dangerous for us. I, I, I really don't understand why that should be necessary. Well, then there's a lot of arguments for the other one side and for the other side, but but for me it's just uh, one big confusing thing that that's in the end it's not good for any of us. And that's also because we have uh, songs like uh, "We Are Sick in Our Minds." It's about uh, the opening song. It's fast and brutal, and uh, it's about the, the the insanity of the human race actually. How we destroy ourselves, how we destroy uh, each other, or environment, and, and stuff like that. Uh, a product of the weak design is like, you know, uh, wanted something so bad uh, that you almost would kill for it, but uh, in the end, you don't really want it. Uh, you don't really need it because your life is perfect without it, but you still want it so bad that you almost want to kill for it. So, so wow. that's that's uh, that's all these uh, thoughts and things that I I have been thinking uh, during the, the last seven, uh, yeah, last seven years. Yeah, the world is great inspiration for writing songs, and you capture that within your music. Yeah, and then we have like a, like a fiery birth and icy death. The, the last song, it's actually the fiery birth of our universe. And then I saw a documentary about things will end in millions, 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 and billions and billions, billions of years. And uh, and uh, they called it uh, the fiery birth and I did it. And I think it was a great title. So I wrote a, a song about that too. And uh, how fragile we are is, uh, yeah, well, uh, my father has been uh, sick and he died uh, earlier uh, this year. And I was afraid before he died that he would die alone. And he did die alone at the hospital because he was dying very suddenly. The family did not have the chance to be around him because he was eating breakfast at the hospital because he had uh, some problems and suddenly he just died. And yeah, actually, we have, the, we have that in common, brother. Actually, the same thing happened to my father during the COVID. It was horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is horrible. The lyric that I wrote before he died was actually hitting my face when he died. Because wow. uh, it was, uh, yeah, and the same, uh, the same thing happened actually in Born Unspoiled because the title song and Born Unspoiled is about having kids and what can you offer those kids in in a world of chaos, in a world of war, in a world of hatred and, and stuff like that. And suddenly I became a son. <laughs> so, so that that's again uh, lyrics that that is hitting me after I wrote them. And wow. that's that's that, that's a, that's a strange situation to be in. It's it's uh, you, you're thinking. Uh, I am thinking more about uh, the lyrics now than I ever did because the lyrics has hit me from behind, so to say. Right. That just shows you the importance of lyrics. I've said that yeah, for yeah. many years. I've been saying how important lyrics are, and you've captured that within your music, and that, that's so important, especially this day and age. Yeah. It is because so I, I, when I when I write lyrics, they have to be uh, meaningful. They, they, it's just it's not just gore lyrics or uh, about violence and and stuff like that. It's it's there is a layer. If you dig in the lyrics, you can find a, a, a lot of uh, that. I want to tell people something. I want to tell them that you want deep shit, but. <laughs> but <laughs> But uh, it's because that we are humans. That's our nature. This is true. Yeah, very good point. And Daniel, I thank you so much for going into detail about the concept of the album. I think this was very important that you did that. I'm very glad that you did talk about yeah. this. That, that, I can that tell you about a, a little about my, my other band, Pope. It's Please just, do. Uh, uh, I have uh, done that with a few friends from my uh, home city, 
And I did that because uh, in, in Sigtring Slaughter, we, we live in a long distance from each other. So we don't uh, need that much to rehearsal. I used to rehearsal alone. Uh, only with uh, some audio, with the music, and uh, I put the voice on. Uh, here I am meeting with the uh, with the guys, and uh, we are jamming li a little, and have a beer, and uh, talk, and, and stuff like that. And we made an EP called uh, "Only Here for the Violence" in uh, 2020. It's a uh, hoak. It's H uh, O A K, and stands for hatred of all kind. And uh, we also played death metal, of course. Uh, that's uh, the, that's the th uh, we have a little black in it also because uh, some of the members still like black metal. But uh, but uh, we are uh, planning also to write a whole album. When it's coming out and stuff like that, we don't know yet. That's great news. That means we're going to have an interview for Hulk. Oh, so I hope so. Yeah, and, that's what it was. That was I, I, I joined the band because I was a little tired of just working alone. So it has given me some uh, this uh, social uh, thing I wanted in the rehearsal room to, to meet with friends and stuff like that. I got that in hope, and it's give me more uh, motivation to, to work alone with the, the six string slaughter stuff, so to say. Right. Well, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing Hoka, and thank you for bringing this to my attention. I have to check out the EP, and I look forward to when you do have the full album out there, that we could come back here and talk about that. I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Really? We will. Definitely. Yeah. 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 And I, I want to thank you for giving us such great detail about the concept behind and involving as the continents collide. I, I was embraced in your conversation and that's like how much sense it made. I mean, congratulations on making such a great creation. It's unbelievable. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you very much, David. We really appreciate it. And I can't thank you enough for, for, for what you're doing for the band right now. Well, I'm glad that you're able to do what you do so that we can come here and talk about it. So without you, we wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. That's right. This, is, would... this is true. Yeah. It's very... Thank is you very there... much. Oh, 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 absolutely, my friend. And what would you like to tell the f fans out there? Is there anything that you'd like to talk to your fans that are tuning in right now? Anything that you'd like to tell them? Yeah. I wish everyone the best. And I wish everyone should be healthy and safe and uh, don't hate each other because uh, everyone has, well, other people have another opinion of you. Uh, you're not a better uh, person just because you think you have the right opinion. The other one can be right as well. So I will also say keep listening to metal, keep supporting metal, even uh, if it's small bands, big bands, every band. Keep listening to Metal Messiah Radio. Keep listening to Dave's show every time he's on. Support what you can support, Metal Maniacs. Do it for yourself. Do it for us. Do it for metal. Wow, that was beautiful what you just said. And I want to thank you again for this opportunity, Daniel. It's a pleasure to talk to you again. I... I I know we did this before, like six or seven years ago, but this has been really inspiring to me, this conversation we're having. I really have enjoyed this, and I'm looking forward to the next time, whether it's for Hulk or 16 Slaughter or anything that you're involved in. You, you're welcome back on the show any anytime. I want to wish you and everyone in your circle, Six Green Slaughter, Hulk, and your family, uh, just the best of success and health. Please stay healthy out there and Stay out of trouble, out of harm's way, and, and please be safe during this COVID pandemic. And uh, I'm sure we'll have many more opportunities to talk about your music in all the years to come. And uh, just keep doing what you're doing, and we'll do it. We will do it. And uh, thank you very much, Dave, once again. And thank you to all the listeners. Keep it metal. All right. Let's go crank up some more Six String Slaughter now. Let's crank it up loud. 